After two straight national semifinal losses, UConn senior Katie Lou Samuelson is coming back this season with a lot to prove. With the loss of some key players to graduation this spring, Samuelson is the one that will have to lead this team back to the Final Four. John Pearson chatted with her and has more. With senior to be Katie Lou Samuelson, wow, senior to be, huh? I know that's weird. I haven't heard that from anyone else. So that's, that was shocking to hear. You know, when you look around at the, at the group you have coming back next year, it's, it's going to be a different kind of leadership kind of role for you. Are you looking forward to, to that part? Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it. You know, I think um, it's going to be a really tough year for all of us, and um, I think we're excited for that. It's going to be different than any year I've had so far at um, Connecticut, so I'm excited to see what happens and to see what the young guys um, are going to do. I know that you know Meg's already had a huge jump from the way that she approached last year just to this summer, and so um, I'm excited to see what she's able to do. And um, you know, Nafisa and Crystal are always going to be kind of reliable like we were last year, but we are the only three that have that experience of playing in you know, close games. So we're really going to have to step up and just be able to be that kind of solid core for the team. So you grew up, I'm sure, watching the WNBA want to play in the league? Of course, yeah. Okay. Now I know it's all team, 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 but your, your last year is almost going to be like an audition, almost like a job interview, if you will. Mm -hmm. How exciting is that for you, knowing that down the road you're going to be playing in a league that you grew up watching as a little kid? Yeah, it's awesome, you know, um, just having that opportunity. Um, I'm really excited, and um, whatever happens this year, you know, I'm excited that I get to take, take that next step and play in such a um, amazing league. You know, there's not that many opportunities, and compared to other um, leagues, there's not that many teams. <laughs> so um, just having that chance, you know, hopefully I'll put myself in the right position to get that chance to play. Have you leaned on your sister at all yet? Have you talked to her? How's she enjoying it? She's, she's really liking it. You know, she just got picked up back for good for now with the Sparks, so she's she's loving it. What were driveway games like for you and your family? Oh, they were crazy. Um, we and it ended in a fight no matter what. Like Carly and I fought more than anyone, um, but my dad would have to stop our one-on-one -on -one games halfway through because we just couldn't keep going. <laughs> so the black guy last year, the ankle injuries, no big deal to you, right? No, no, I'm used to getting beat up, especially by Bonnie and Carly. <laughs>